Hello, beautiful friends from around the world. The general reading for the sign of Taurus. So anyone who has Taurus strongly in their charts could resonate with this reading. This will look out um, for the next seven to 10 days. Um, I will not um, give my normal spiel, but I will remind each and every one of you of the power of you to create your own destiny, the power and the strength of your own human will, and um, the, the strength that you can receive when you connect in with your spiritual team. All right, let's go ahead and see what's here. What's happening currently for the sign of Taurus? What's having, happening currently for the sign of Taurus? What's happening currently for, this, for the sign of Taurus? And what is the next week, this 10 days? What is the message here for Taurus for the next week to 10 days? For the next week to 10 days? For the next week to 10 days. What is the message here for Taurus? Wow. Taurus. What is happening for Taurus in the next seven to 10 days? What's the message here for Taurus? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. There is a major, major victory here for you, Taurus. A major victory. This is the next seven to 10 days, so a lot can happen in a week. But again, um, a week is a very short amount of time. So I know that those are that's a contrast in what I just said, and that is exactly the energy that I've been in. There's a lot of transformation here. Yes, a week to 10 days is a very short amount of time. So um, please understand that I'm looking at a very short amount of time. But again, a lot can happen in a week. <laughs> Sorry. It's just kind of comical. It's this beautiful energy. It's happy energy. You're moving out of something pretty dark. You're moving out of something pretty dark, Taurus, and you're moving into something really um, amazing here. What is the guidance for Taurus? What is the guidance for Taurus? Oh, my gosh. Ten of Wands, Justice, Wheel of Fortune is here. Seven of Wands in the, and Seven of Cups in the upright. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I've decided I'm going to start doing reversals. So for those of you who have been frustrated that I haven't been doing reversals, I am doing that. That means that I'm going to be digging a little bit deeper into the shadow element sometimes. Um, and it takes a lot more strength for me as a reader to do that. Um, but I'm willing to do that. And I think it's the next step in my process at, in my own human experience. Um, so let's get begin. Let's get started here. We have the devil in reverse. We have the knight of cups in reverse. And we have the four of pentacles in the upright. What's, what that is telling me is there's some kind of new movement out of um, an energy that you have been in that has been an energy of basically... Um, uh, we had the Knight of Cups in reverse for someone else. Who was it? Someone else it was in reverse too. It's an energy of love, but ultimately it's it causes it it doesn't it's not it doesn't work out. It, there's something. Uh, well, it's because it's it's there's a fear. So I'm I'm moving into the shadow. So there's a situation here that you have been in for for maybe some time, and it's coming to an end now. It's definitely coming to an end now um, where you could have been ruled by fear. Okay. And, and I know that's easy for me to say, but um, you could have been ruled by a fear of the world, a fear of people, a fear of your own self, a fear of your own strength. Um, you could have been, you could have been making decisions because you had some kind of stability in your life um, and that you were trying to hold on to something that you were trying to hold on to here that ultimately um, you've released that you've let that go. So that could be a fear of your own empowerment, a fear of rejection of a fear of the world. You could have been denying your own need for healing. You could have been denying your own need um, for love, denying your own need, like um, not a re a refusing to claim it for yourself. It's a shadow element. So you've worked your way through some kind of a shadow element. 
in the external world, it could have been something that kept you quite trapped. Um, you could have been financially devastated. You could have been living in toxic relationships one after another, where at first love was um, beautiful and wonderful and exciting, but then soon became toxic and debilitating and devastating. Again, it goes into the shadow element, but you've worked through that. So as you work through the shadow within yourself, you see the external world beginning to change. Something here, um, something here is changing for you, moving out of the shadow, um, moving out of the shadow and, and seeing the truth um, of, of how you've been moving in, in the past, seeing the truth of these toxic relationships you've been in or toxic jobs. Because we do have um, the wheel of fortune here in reverse, which tells me um, that there's new luck coming in, there's new momentum coming in. But first, there had to be a, a deep look at why there was stagnation in your success of love or your success of money or whatever that is. So there has, you have worked on it. Oh my gosh, Taurus, you really have worked on it and you've brought yourself to a freaking new place in life. Okay. I mean, it's, it's a powerful energy. It's powerful. I feel like this eight of swords is in the upright and the eight of pentacles is in the, is in the, um, it's still in reverse. I feel like it came in that way or should it should be that way. <sighs> okay. Something beautiful is beginning to happen to you. You're finding freedom in something. You're either finding freedom in, um, in a relationship that you've been in, or you're finding freedom in a monetary situation that you've been in. But ultimately here, this has happened because you have, you have changed something. You have looked at the shadow. You have looked at your weakness or you've looked at um, something that you've been trying to hold on to. Um, you've been you've been trying to hold on to something. And as you're releasing it, it's, it's allowing you to find new stability in a way that you just never really thought was possible, to, to be honest. So um, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful victory. It's new movement. It's, it's absolutely it's absolutely the key to success is what you're doing Taurus it's the key to success so moving into the next seven to ten days you're starting something new with the fool you're starting something new the world is here the fool with the world my friends congratul <laughs> congratulations sorry the lighting is bad this is not my normal place but you have the fool with the world energy. You're doing something different. You have a new strategy. You have a new job. You have a new love. Something is different. You could have a new love for life, but you have let something go. Whenever we have the fool, we have released something. We have started something new. We have released something. We have surrendered into it and we're starting something new. It's truly a profound time in your life, Taurus. There is a new beautiful beginning. And yes, there were endings. And yes, it was freaking hard because you have the devil here and you have the knight of cups in reverse. That's a toxic energy of love. Okay. So, um, whatever that is for you, that's it. That is ending now. Like there is no more pa passivity. There's no more, um, manipulation of yourself, like people manipulating you. Are you even working in manipulating energies, right? You, this is looking at the shadow and this is what you're doing now. And it's the key to your future. It's a key to something new in your life. All right. You have the eight of swords here in the upright. I had it in the reverse. There is in the next week, a complete change to how you view yourself and you view your situation. So there's a flipping of that energy. You know, it flips, it's flipping, it's changing as we speak. So you will see in the next week or so in the next eight days, I'm going to say eight, there's two eights and this is powerful too. This is powerful movement. Nothing can stop you now, Taurus. Nothing can stop you from this journey. Nothing can chop, stop you from this new success that you're finding because you have two eights in a row and you have the queen of wands in the upright position. All right. You have strength energy as well, which is power energy. It's still flipping. You're still learning how to do it, but it's coming into the upright and it's bringing in success with it. All right. Again, um, you have the eight of swords here, which talks about some kind of need for your path. 
um, to break yourself out of um, some type of imprisonment, imprisonment of ideals, imprisonment of your way of thinking, of your past cycle of thinking. So something in, how, in your clarity that you thought you knew, because this is what enlightenment is, it's what transformation is, something, and this is, well, anyway, for me, for me, I'm speaking for me right now, but in all of my transformations, there has been a great surprise for me because something that I thought was true became untrue or it became ascended. It became more than what I thought it was. It was, or it became different from what I thought it was. Always for me with eight of swords, that's the energy around it for me anyway. I'm Aquarius, so I live in eight of swords quite a lot. It's a training ground for me. It's a teaching ground for me. It's how I have to be taught. It's a frustrating energy, but I don't seem to learn any other way. Okay, that's me. Um, and I think for you, you were in this energy and, and you still are right now a little bit in this energy of um, there is going to be a transformation here in how you see yourself, how you see the world, how you see your place in the world. There's a transformation and it's going to bring you freedom. It's going to be bring you freedom. Okay, so um, you're still sort of in this journey, but as you begin in the next seven to 10 days, there's a brand new journey here for you with the fool. There's a brand new world here opening up. There's new doors opening up for you. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. There could be travel. There could be brand new experiences that really open the horizons for you. Um, this could be a door that will lead to many, many other doors for you. And the energy in the world energy is the most powerful in this whole spread. This world energy, this is opening the world up to you, my friends. The world is opening up to you. And I don't just mean a little world. I mean the world as big as you can imagine it. The imagination is key. Thinking differently is key. Finding freedom is key. And freedom is first found in the mind, my friends. And that's where you're headed here. That's where you're headed. Oh boy, it's a lot of strength. There's a lot of passion here for you, Taurus. You have the eight of you have the eight of pentacles um, in the reverse. So this tells me that as you move into this time frame, you're going to be um, really um, putting your focus in your own path, putting your focus in your own journey, um, not um, getting distracted by other people's what other people say or their own thoughts or what where other what what other people say. You're going to become your own guru. You're going to stop really um, getting on other, It's this is, okay, I'm going to leave it. At, you're going to become your own guru. You're going to become um, very much in tune with oneself. You're going to start to follow your own guidance. You're going to stay in your own path. You're going to um, not get distracted by other people's problems, other people's dramas, other people's lives. And you're going to stay very much connected to this new journey you're on because it has abundance here it has freedom here it has a brand new world for you here and you know this is the time this is your battle now this is your path this is your key to freedom and you are staying focused on that powerful movement freaking forward taurus okay it's powerful you have the queen of wands here with the strength energy tilted so what that tells me is that um, you're truly uh, stepping into your own power. You know what your superpowers are. You know what your strengths are. You know how beautiful you are. You know how attractive you are. Each and every one of us, it doesn't matter what we look like. It doesn't matter what skin color we have. It doesn't matter our body shape. We all can just blast our inner light out. And when we do that, we have power. We have beauty. We have charisma. We have attraction power. And that's the queen of wands. You know how she does it? Because she has seen her own truth and she knows what her strengths are. But even more importantly, my friends, she knows what her weaknesses are. Do you see how dramatic this is? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's dramatic and powerful. She knows what her weaknesses are and she has learned how to manage those. That is the key to success. And that's why the strength energy is flipping to the upright. It's not quite there yet. It's flipping to the upright. This tells me that you're learning how to manage your words. You're learning how to manage your actions. You're learning how to manage the decisions you make and the actions you take. You're learning how to control the shadow. See the shadow? Look at what you're doing with your shadow self. There's your shadow right there. See what you're doing? You're taking the energy from your shadow. 
you're incorporating it into yourself and you're moving forward in a powerful way. This is how the Queen of Wands move for, moves forward. Very fiery energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. Leo energy, self-care, self-worth, self-value. Your own path now. Your, oh, your, excuse me, your own path now. Okay, now all of a sudden the energy calms. It's calming. So you're going to go through a very dramatic realization. Could be for a couple of days where you could be in this very high energy, high, powerful energy. And as you have these realizations and as you start to see how you can control your own destiny by controlling your own words, your own actions, your own decisions, that energy calms within you. Okay, so by the end of the 10-day period, you're going to have a calming of that energy, but that does not mean a diminishing of the strength. That in its own way is a building up of the strength. You know who the leaders are who have the most power? You know who they are? They're not the ones that say all the words and that can't control their speech and they can't control their actions. It's not those. The leaders in the world are people who have this quiet strength they don't have to be talking all the time, but when they speak, they're listened to. When they take action, they're seen because they have this strong ability to control the words that they say and to control the actions that they take and have clarity and discernment in their path ahead. That is power. That is strength. And that is how you're moving into the, into this new, into this new pathway. That's how you're moving into the new future for yourself. So this energy at the beginning, like when I was in this fiery energy here, it's dramatic. It's moving out of freedom. It's moving into a celebratory energy. It's learning what your role has been and seeing the clarity in that and having this high, this passionate high. And as you move through that, and as you gain traction there and gain your footing, that energy is going to calm because you're going to sense within you this very quiet very intense, very powerful energy of learning how to quiet and manage it and manage that beast within you, that shadow within you. You're learning how to manage it. And it's the key to your success, Taurus. It truly is the key, the key um, to your success. What is the guidance coming forward for you now? We have the 10 of wands here with the justice we have the Ten of Wands with the Justice um, in all in the upright. We have the Seven of Cups in the upright with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So what this tells me is that you've come to an end of a journey where you're traveling alone in some way, where you're being overburdened by others, where you're being controlled by other people. So in the past, this is telling me that you have felt um, out of control in your life. You have felt that other people... Um, have more power than you. Other people have power over you. Um, you're getting wrapped up in, in someone else's platform or someone else's dream and you have forgotten your own dream or you feel like you do not have the energy or the capacity to live your dream. So you have um, been in a place of slavery, slavery or servitude or just um, so very overburdened in your life. And there's new equality coming in with, for you. There's new victory here. Um, the scales of the universe are, are tipping in your favor now with the changes that you're making. New options are coming in. The imagination right now is so important, Taurus. The guidance is, is to imagine, to dream, to feel like you're in that space. Begin to manifest it. Take action. Have an imagination. Imagine it dream it. Sometimes when we have been so depleted by toxic energy, by manipulation energy, by the devil energy, we can forget how to, um, we can forget how to imagine. The imagination can become very weak. We can forget how to dream up our dreams. We can forget how to imagine new futures. So there, there is guidance here to um, turn the on button, switch, flip the switch, turn the on button on, on your imagination. Allow yourself to dream of things that a year or two ago you would have laughed at. Allow your imagination to go there. You don't have to tell anyone. You don't have to go around and say, oh yeah, I'm thinking about doing this or I'm thinking about doing that. It can be deep within you. It's your own imagination. It's your own life. It's your own path. And the imagination is the key to the future. Allow yourself to dream, even if you laugh at it. When I first began to imagine my life in a different way, and I have changed my life, my friends, this is something I have done. 
and I'll go there more with other work I'm doing in the future, but I have absolutely changed my life. And when I began to imagine my life differently, I would laugh to myself. I would think to myself, you are so silly. I can't believe you're thinking about these things. But I knew that I needed to keep doing it. And so I kept imagining it. And still today, my imagination is so strong. It's so profound. It's so powerful. Even today, I still laugh at my imagination. But I know now it has power. I know it has power. I know it's the key. I know it for real. I have evidence of it. And you will soon as well, my friends, you are getting to that place in your life. The wheel of fortune here is in reverse, which tells me that there is new movement coming. There is new fortune coming for you. There is new luck coming for you. It's just around the corner. It's not here yet. There's more momentum to be made. There's more movement to be made. You're at the beginning of this journey. And remember, it's a journey, not a destination. It's a journey. I have come um, lately into some victories in my life where I've hit some milestones. And for about 10 minutes, it's beautiful. For about a day, it's profoundly beautiful. And then what happens? The imagination kicks in again. And I have personally realized now in a very real way that it's the journey, my friends. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the lessons. Enjoy the acceleration of victories because you will always be on the journey. You will never be in a resting state for very long because the human will is beautiful, is profound, is strong. It, we are meant to come here on earth and have a beautiful experience. And what is that experience going to be for you? Hmm. We can see you thinking about that. We can, the guidance is here for that, to dream of that, to think of that, to allow your imagination to flow to lay in bed at night and ask your spiritual team, even if you don't know you have one, you do, you have one. So ask your spiritual team, you don't even have to know. If, you, if you're if you not sure, talk to the earth. There is power in the earth. There is power in Gaia. You know that, you know that Taurus. So even if you're so lost, like I was at one point, I didn't know what I believed in. I felt like there was no one there for me. I felt like there was no power. There was no miracles. There was no strength. And, and what I found is there's power in the earth. There's power in the heavens. There's power in the spiritual team around us. So ask your spiritual team to please help you with your imagination. Please help you with your dreams. It might not happen the first night. It might not happen the first week. But soon you'll wake up one morning and you'll lay in bed and you'll be dreaming of what your future can be. It happens. It really works, my friends. So there's future right around the corner. There's fortune right around the corner. There's future right around the corner. Well, that's, that's a, that's a, that's the truth. There's fortune around the corner. There's new movement. There's new luck. There's new money coming in for you. Whatever you can dream, take the imagination and flip this wheel of fortune so that you can begin new momentum in your life because imagination is a first step. It's a first step. Okay, so that's the guidance. It's a very dramatic reading, but by the time you get to the end of the 10, 10 day period, you're gonna feel a new calm. You're gonna feel a new energy. It's going to be powerful, but it's gonna be more calm. It's going to be intense, but it's, there's going to be peace there for you. Peace and calmness and a sense of inner strength is what I'm feeling at the end of this 10 day period. All right, Taurus, I am gonna go to the extended and I'm gonna go down some rabbit holes now. Um, that's what I've been doing this week. It's something I like to do the most with tarot is going down rabbit holes because <laughs> I'm a big weirdo. You guys know that already. Um, I'm going to go down some rabbit holes now. So I'm going to go down some rabbit holes um, on this fool energy, the world energy, and also the wheel of fortune. So those are the rabbit holes I'm going to go down. Um, I'm also going to look at the people around you and what their intentions are towards you. All right, so I'm going to go down some rabbit holes here, and I'm going to look at the people around you and their intentions towards you. All right, that's the extended. For those of you that are wanting to go down some rabbit holes with me, um, feel free to move to the extended reading. It's in the link below. For those of you that feel um, um, satisfied um, with this reading, that makes me really happy. That's why I do these readings, um, and, and that's perfectly fine. Um, it's very satisfying for me that you're happy with the reading, and I will see you back out. Um, 
on YouTube in another seven to 10 days. Thank you so much, Taurus. Thank you.